Hey guys, we're on our sixth healthy habit. This is the healthy beans and legumes habit. Thank you for joining me as we create healthy habits today for a healthier tomorrow. And we're doing it one bite at a time. So far we've learned this about beans. They provide much needed plant fiber for a healthy gut. They partner in prevention of numerous diseases and they help reduce weight. Lentils may get top billing for healthy legumes, but according to Dr. Greger, the very healthiest bean is probably the one you'll eat the most of. Today we're going to learn which beans to avoid. As with most foods, some beans are tricky. They're overly processed or have unhealthy ingredients added in. They don't deserve our grocery dollar, a spot in our pantry, or room in our God-given body. So just say no to these pretenders. I'll start with GMO beans, and soybeans are one of the largest GMO crops. I'll take a bit longer detour with more on GMO foods in my upcoming series on grains, but you don't have to wait to kick GMO soybeans out of your kitchen. GMO foods are grown from seed that has been genetically modified and most often so that it can withstand toxic sprays like Roundup. So GMO plants are not only changed from God's original perfect design, they're then doused in poison. Studies on the effects of GMO foods are in progress and we really don't know yet just how harmful they may be. I do know that many countries will not grow GMO crops or even allow imported GMO foods. Some connections have already been made between GMO foods and cancer, and there certainly appears to be a connection between the poison on those foods and harm to our gut microbes at very least. We do our best to avoid GMO foods as much as possible. If you're new to GMO foods, start with a personal ban on GMO soybeans. In an article at Livestrong.com, we read, according to Natural News, GMO soy is found in up to 70% of food products in supermarkets in the United States. It includes cereals, breads, soy milk, pasta, and meat. GMO soybeans are thought to have potentially dangerous effects on the environment and on our human health. Thankfully, organic certification forbids GMO crops, which means that when we buy certified organic foods, they are never GMO. You might want to check the label to make sure every ingredient is organic because sometimes only part of an organic food is um, or all organic. So just check it out. And when buying edamame or soybean products like tofu, tempeh, or miso, just aim for the organic versions to skip the woes of GMO. Now let's move on to other beans that get the boot. In addition to GMO, other beans to avoid are those overly processed like so many soy products and some bean dips. Also avoid beans with added sugar oil, and ingredients you just don't recognize. You can check the labels to make sure you're getting the healthy versions that your body really will crave. And regarding other ingredients, the general rule is this. If you don't recognize an ingredient as food God made in nature, it probably isn't. So shop for single ingredient dry beans and low sodium canned beans. So these will have just one ingredient beans or if canned two ingredients, beans and salt. And preferably, of course, low in salt. When buying bean pastas or bean chips on occasion, fiber content is a great indicator of how processed the product is. A serving of beans can easily have five to 10 grams of fiber. If a product has less than five grams per serving, it's likely overly processed. Okay, that was a lot of information, so let's just take a deep breath and simplify by remembering the bottom line is eat more beans. And as we learned today, choose the healthy ones. Our healthy bean and legume challenge is to get three servings of beans and legumes per day. I've posted some of our favorite recipes with beans at hellohealthyhabits.com. If you have healthy favorites, I'd love to know. That's it for the day. 
If you're eating more, be more beans like we are trying to, then great job. And if you know others that want to feel better, invite them to join our Healthy Habits journey. I'll see you next time. God bless you big. Bye-bye.